I actually remember when I was enrolled in school, um, and that's one of the things that is that remember that I actually um, repeated the eighth grade, uh, the, uh, um, the, the, the seventh grade, no, yeah, the, the seventh grade in, in Jamaica, no, the eighth grade. I repeated the eighth grade at, at, at Kingston College. And so at this point, I essentially w went through the same grade twice. So I remember when my mom enrolled me in school and they told me, you're going to have to be, we're going to put him in the eighth grade. And I said to my mom, why would you put, they put me in the eighth grade? I've already been in the eighth grade twice. And um, she says, well, you know, they believe that maybe the Jamaican education is not as advanced as, as the, the American system. And I said, you've got to be kidding me. I'm like, I, it's like, I couldn't imagine it in the United States that the, the education was going to be rougher than what we had in Jamaica, where they were caning you, where they were hanging those weapons of, of you know, child destruction, those belts. I mean, back in Jamaica, they literally hung the belts on the wall. I remember a teacher pointing to the belt and going, pick which one. And there were several different leather belts hanging on the wall and pointed to it whenever, if you didn't get a problem, you know, if they ask you questions such as your timetable, such as, what is five times five? And if you're like, uh-uh, 22, whoosh, or if you get in trouble. So I, I couldn't imagine that the American system was tougher than that. So um, in any event, uh, um, you know, when I enrolled in, in high school, not in, 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 I mean, in the eighth grade, I cried. Because that was the third time I'm repeating the same grade. So, um, you know, I got into class. And, of course, the one of the first thing came up is that I wrote a paper. And the teacher, it was an English class. And the teacher went back through it and had a bunch of red mark and correction mark and said, oh, you spelled the word color incorrectly. Um, you know, and as an example, you spelled a, spelled a few of the words incorrectly. And I was like, are you kidding me? Color is spelled correctly. What is this teacher talking about? So I went home and I got my, my Webster British Dictionary and I brought it to school with me because Jamaica, the, you know, Jamaican English is based on the, is a, Jamaica is a, is a former British colony. So the, 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 the English is British English as opposed to American English. I didn't even know there was a, such a thing as American English. So I brought my Webster dictionary to, to school and I showed the teacher, I said, look, you said that I spelled color correct, incorrectly. Color is spelled C-O-L-O-U-R. You were saying it's spelled C-O-L-O-R. And I just remember telling my family, I said, these Americans seem to spell the way it's, things sound. I'm like, what, what they, you know, they, they, it's just, what, how, is there a level of ignorance? They didn't get it? I mean, it's, these are, the British, by definition, it's England and English. It's their language. They should know how to spell words in English as, a, as opposed to America. But anyway, so the teacher looked at me when I showed her my British English and show, show, show her how um, color was spelled. She says, this is American English. Essentially, she's saying, look, Jack, you're an American now. <laughs> you're going to spell it the way we tell you to spell it, okay? We're, we're not a British colony. We kick their ass, okay? We have our own. So I had to quickly come online with the idea of putting aside my, my, my British dictionary and falling in line.